NASA's Space Shuttle Endeavour will shortly carry ESA's last two habitable modules to the International Space Station. Node 3, a highly specialized connecting module, Andrew Cupola, an observation deck and control tower, will be ferried to low Earth orbit in the shuttle's cargo bay. Node 3 is one of the most complex elements of the International Space Station. Like the station's other two connecting nodes, it will allow other hardware to dock to the station. But it will also provide life support and environmental control for the six crew members, as well as exercise equipment. Node 3 is very complex. It incorporates a rack to generate oxygen, another one to remove the CO2 from the cabin atmosphere, then two other racks to process the water. The cupola is a pressurized module with six trapezoid side windows and a circular glass roof, giving astronauts unique panoramic views. It will allow for Earth observation research and control of the station's robotic arm. The cupola will be attached to the Earth-facing port of Node 3, requiring extensive robotic operations in orbit. Once it is on the station, then the cupola will be detached from the node tree and move with the robotic arm to the bottom side, so the side facing the earth of node tree. Uh, and there, that will be the final location of cupola. Node three and the cupola have been built using the company Talis Alenia Space Italy as prime contractor. All elements developed for use in orbit rely on cutting edge engineering to ensure they'll withstand the rigors of space. The cupola uh, structure was made out of a single forging uh, in aluminum. This is quite of an achievement. This was a premiere in Europe, and uh, this is something Europe should be very proud of. Cupola with the seven windows is full of holes and big interfaces and achieving a good leak tightness of the element was not an easy task. Node 3 and the cupola are the culmination of years of development and construction by ESA and its contractors. Their attachment to the station means that it can now be exploited to the full, a testament to both European innovation and international cooperation.